Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 8, verses 1 through 3 now, and let's carry right on with the uh, Gospel. Now it came to pass afterward that he went through every city and village, preaching and bringing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom had come seven demons, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who provided for him with their substance. So this little, uh, this little paragraph here is telling us about Jesus and his group now as they're going through from village to village, city to city, across, across Judea and across the area there, healing. And notice what they're doing, preaching, bringing the glad tidings, and along with him are people that he has transformed. So Jesus is raising up a group here, and you see different ones, different ones that have been forgiven, different ones that have been healed, different ones who have been exercised, demons cast out of them. And they are coming right along and providing for him with their substance. Uh, so here we have basically a, a ministry, a self-sustaining, self-supporting ministry. Uh, this isn't in the regular ministry that's happening in the temple and all that. These are people who've gathered around Jesus and are giving of their uh, their substance and their help. I'm sure that they, they were preparing food and feeding the group as they went from place to place. You know, feeding Jesus band here of, min of people ministering, the 12 disciples and these different women. So here we have an interesting group going from town to town and building the kingdom, building it up. They're not in the regular channels at all here. They are simply seeing something, they know it's truth, they believe in it, and they're supporting it. They're supporting it with their substance. We live in a time when we want to support, you know, broadly organized things. We have whole denominations we want to support, uh, but sometimes things aren't all that they could be, and I think we should still seek to support and, and, and enhance those, those organizations. But at the same time, here we have a case of, indisputably, this is God working through, uh, through this group, and so they're being supported. And we also should support wise, uh, faithful to Scripture ministry initiatives, even that are sort of like... Uh, can we dare say it? Unofficial, because God is working through Jesus here and it's being supported rightly. You and I can support things also uh, directly that aren't in the normal channels, but we want to make sure they're all about truth and drawing hearts to Jesus. God will bless that and God wants that. Here's an example of it right here in Luke chapter 8. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to, uh, you've given us so much. May we be wise and careful so that our support uh, goes out for things that you are doing, things you are working through, groups you're working through. Uh, we need to be careful, Lord. There's so many things out there vying to take away resources that need to go to things that are truly things of truth. And so, Lord, give us wisdom. Help us to sustain the, the large church organizations that are being faithful and help us, Lord, to do our part to build those up but at the same time Help us to sustain very small works that are godly works. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So, friend, may the Lord bless you as you build up those things that are things of God that he is allowing you to participate in. God bless you today.